हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग अब दिस इज रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रेस इन बॉयलर दिस इज द बिगनिंग ऑफ द बॉयलर सीरीज फ्रॉम वेयर आई विल कवर राइट फ्रॉम द बेसिक टू द एडवांस सो दिस इज द पार्ट वन ऑफ द बॉयलर सीरीज सो फर्स्ट लेटर डिस्कस दैट व्हाट आर द स्ट्रेसेस व्हिच एक्ट ऑन द बॉयलर एज वी नो that the boiler is a pressure contained cylindrical cell okay so as the boiler is subjected to pressure and it is providing steam for auxiliary purpose or for high pressure use so it is continuously subjected under a pressure so that pressure led to a several stress acting inside the boiler that are mainly categorized in a three part longitudinal stress circumferential stress and radial stress these are the three stresses which are the deciding factor that how the mounting will be placed in the boiler means where the mounting will be placed how the mounting will be placed these three stress decide how the hole will be cut in the boiler means we require several hole to be cut in a boiler cylindrical vessel to ensure several mounting can be installed such as feed water valve means uh, safety valve many many valve steam steam stop valve many mountings and holes need to be cut so that it can be installed in, in a boiler and how the riveting need to be done to ensure that the boiler which is subjected to a larger stress the part which is subjected to the high stress can be additionally riveted so that it may have a good structural strength so all this thing is dependent on these three stress longitudinal circumferential and radial stress so let's see how it is occurring so first see let us see what is circumferential stress circumferential stress mainly in the above diagram you can see a thin cylinder cell is subjected to internal pressure p so as you can see this is the thin cylinder cell okay suppose is at a boiler which is which is having a diameter of d and a length of l and a thickness of t okay you should remember that having dy d length l and thickness t is subjected to a pressure p means the pressure is acting here 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 like all all around the surfaces the pressure is acting okay so this pressure which is acting from inside to outside direction or from outside to inside direction this stress is called circumferential stress because it is acting all through the circumference of the thin cylinder cell and this stress is called hoop stress so basically suppose this cylindrical body is been cut in x x plane so we will get two cylindrical body like this when cut in from the mid means from the mid if we cut this body we are cutting the body from the mid at that time we are getting a body like this as the pressure is acting all around the circumferential plane so a hoop stress will have a effect of a change in diameter means what happen when a hoop stress is acting at that time it will try to bulge out the system it is if it is acting from inside means it will try to change the diameter of the system if it is acting from inside or if it is acting from outside it will try to puncture the sink the system so basically what the hoop stress is trying is to change the, the overall diameter of the system whenever a hoop stress is acting so when a pressure p is acting at that time suppose from inside at that time it will try to bulge out the system so this will have a effect of change in diameter will be which will be acting in the longitudinal section all through the hair this is longitudinal section which will the hoop stress will be acting in this direction longitudinal direction like this means if the pressure is acting here so a stress will be induced in this longitudinal section which will have a change in a diameter so same thing i have written here hoop stress occur 
when a thin cylinder is subjected to pressure either from inside or from outside. Whose stress causes change in diameter? It means if it is acting from inside, it will try to bulge out the cylindrical or body or vice versa. Whose stress is act irrespective whether the cylindrical end is closed or not. So one more thing. Whose stress will act whether the end of this cylinder is closed or not because it is acting in circumferential direction therefore it will try to change the diameter by acting in longitudinal part. So as no as you know from the universal law the applied force is equal to resisting force and what is force? Force is pressure into area means what are the pressure acting in the particular area. So as you can see this is the pressure acting on this particular area okay this particular area okay so applied force is pressure into projected area so what are the pressure P into D into L means the force which is applied is P which is acting all through the diameter and the length of the body okay so this is the applied force P into D into L and what it is causing what is resisting the stress which has been induced because of this pressure into cross sectional area of the joint so as you can see this is the cross sectional area of the joint longitudinal joint which is subjected to a hoop stress okay and this hoop stress is acting on this stress point so having this thin cylinder having thickness T and length L and dia D. So we will see the stress is acting on a thickness T of the longitudinal section L. And as you can see here, this longitudinal section is two in number one here and one here. If we see this cylinder, the longitudinal section is one here and one here. So these two sections are subjected to stress because of the pressure P acting on the circumferential direction. So we can say 2TL into stress in longitudinal joint is equal to PDL. So basically the LL will cut out and we will get ultimately what stress means what hoop stress acting in a longitudinal section will be pressure into diameter by twice of the thickness so what we are getting the stress which has been induced in the longitudinal section because of the hoop stress means because of the circumferential stress acting all around the circumference of the body the longitudinal joint which is subjected to stress will be equal to P into D by now let's see about the longitudinal stress. So what is the longitudinal stress? Longitudinal stress is the stress which acts in a axial direction and causes change in the length. So basically what happened means as you have seen this is a cylindrical body. If the cylindrical body is subjected to a pressure P from inside, if this end of the cylindrical body is closed, then if a pressure is acting on this circumferential joint, if the pressure act on this circumferential joint, it will cause the change in the axial length of a system. Means, as the hoop stress causes change in the diameter, the longitudinal stress act in axial direction and causes change in the length. Means, whenever a longitudinal stress occur, it will it will cause the cylindrical body to pull in two different direction okay it will try to pull this thing head in this direction and in this direction both in axial direction causing the change in a overall length and hoop stress is causing the bulging which is causing a change in diameter but to ensure that the longitudinal stress acting on a system the end of the system should be closed okay Longitudinal stress act on a circumferential area of the thin center cell having n plate thickness t. So basically it is acting on this point on this 
joint on this joint okay this circumferential joint which have been seen here this is a circumferential joint of the end plate which is been acted by a longitudinal stress so if we suppose this longitudinal stress is acting on a end and if we draw a image this is the end of the body and this is the longitudinal stress causing a change in the length so longitudinal stress act on a thin cylinder at a axial direction and while acting in a axial direction it result in a change in the length of the cylindrical body okay it is only applicable for a cylindrical body whose end section are closed if the end section is open in that case longitudinal stress will not be acting if it is closed then only it will have a effect of a change in length so by the universal law we know applied force is equal to resisting force so applied force is where in the pressure into projected area what are the projected area this is the projected area okay this is the circumference of the circle is the projected area of the end so pi by 4 d square is the projected area where the applied force is acting what are the resisting force resisting force is the circumferential joint means basically this joint this joint is the circumferential thickness which is been sub means subjected to the longitudinal stress so stress into cross sectional area of the joint so what are the stresses acting on this pi in this circumferential joint which having thickness t so pi d means 2 pi r or you can say circumferential area is pi d t t is the thickness which where it is acting and into stress in the circumferential joint so by cutting we will get p d by 4 t is equal to stress in circumferential joint so circumferential joint is subjected to a pd by 40 stress okay so a longitudinal stress having a characteristic to cause a change in length this stress will longitudinal stress will cause the stress to be implemented in a circumferential joint which will have pd by 40 stress induced now let's compare these two stress so as we can see as we can see the circumferential stress is causing the stress to be acting at the longitudinal joint section and the longitudinal stress is causing the stress to be induced in a circumferential joint section so let's see so we have seen here that the formula which we can get for the stress in the longitudinal section is pd by 2t and for circumferential stress it's pd by 40 so as we have seen the longitudinal stress or circumferential stress is twice of the circumferential joint stress that is longitudinal stress so it can be concluded that the joint subjected to greatest stress will be the longitudinal joint since so longitudinal joint will be subjected to greatest stress because of the hoop stress and hence if when a hole is cut the dia will be moved in the circumferential direction compared to the longitudinal joint direction means in the circumferential joint direction the dia will be cut more and in the longitudinal joint direction the dia will be cut less because the longitudinal joint is subjected to twice as much as stress as compared to a circumferential joint stress okay so by this we get a idea that whenever we are going to cut a hole how we will cut a hole okay in my next video i will show you how a boiler manhole door is cut and how it is cut and why it is cut now let's talk about the third stress that the radial stress longitudinal stress and the circumferential stress is the major stress which is acting in a thin cylinder body as we have considered a boiler a thin cylinder cell the radial stress which is acting will be will be very small and it can be neglected so the primary stress is a longitudinal stress and the circumferential stress so i hope in this video you have got a clear idea how this circumferential stress is acting and how this longitudinal stress is acting and which stress is more and which stress is less and how it is acting so this stress 
calculation is very important because it has been asked in a college exam and also in MEO class exam. So please do like and share my video and please subscribe and please watch the part 2 upcoming part where the manhole door will be explained. Thank you friend. Have a good day.